Welcome to another informative edition of the Market Opening Gong, the program that gives you a wrap-up of activities in the Nigerian capital markets. This edition of the program captures the market performance for Monday, May 18th, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 23,941.75 basis points with a market capitalization of 12.477 trillion naira in 5,544 deals, meaning it's appreciated by 0.29%. The equities market kicked off the week on a positive note as investors gained 36.69 billion. At the close of trading, market recorded 25 gainers to 13 losers. The top gainers for equity were Okomu L. Palm, Nemet International Pharmaceuticals and BOC Gases, while Lasako Assurance, Cornerstone Insurance and Jais Bank were among the top losers. Access Bank, Zenith Bank and Sterling Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the FMDQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.58 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 387 naira, three kobo to a dollar, while the INE FX rate opened at 387 naira, 10 kobo to a dollar, and closed at 386 naira, 33 kobo to a dollar. For the NASD OTC market, the NSI closed at 688.51 basis points with a market capitalization of 505.76 billion. The volume of shares traded was 270,221 and 12.543 million in terms of value traded in seven deals executed for the day. You can also check for updates on the impact of COVID-19 on markets and the economy on the Corona Watch Central dashboard showing on the screen. For the key highlights, according to Bloomberg, private creditors representing more than $9 trillion of assets under management formed a group to negotiate debt relief for African nations, warning of the risk of a blanket approach to the process. The so-called Africa Private Creditor Working Group will assist African countries and other debt providers to cushion the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the continent, it said. The group represents 25 asset managers and institutions that finance countries and corporates via eurobond, syndicated loans and trade finance. African countries are asking official and private creditors to temporarily suspend $44 billion in debt payments this year in order to channel scarce resources to contain the spread of the coronavirus. Some investors are concerned that countries could unilaterally have payments, locking them out of debt markets and hurting creditors as well, said Lasban, director of Parallel Capital Europe, LLP, and a member of the group. This is just to let you know that the Game Changing Debtors Africa platform has been launched to transform the debt management, debt recovery, and financial market landscape. Log on to www.debtorsafrica.com for more information and send a mail to info at debtorsafrica.com. For the key market and economic events to watch, the Economy and Politics Coronomics Discuss on Web TV will explore post-COVID-19, focus on capital markets and the economy with Dr. Afolabi Olowo Kere, Divisional Head Research, SEC, Nigeria, by 9 a.m. Also, the Market Review Program will feature Mr. Sheye Adentumbi, Chief Responsibility Officer, Value Investing Limited, that will discuss post-COVID-19 attracting FDIs into Nigeria from 10 a.m. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. Connect with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports and to watch a live stream of the weekday Corona Watch program. The ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do stay safe.